week three. I guess this is the end of week three, the beginning of week four, out of 52 and a half weeks. 35,000 words-ish now, a little bit more, I think, than that. A little bit over this morning, as of this morning. So, that's awesome. Yeah, the plot's going, running along, literally running. My character's in the woods now, running, because I ran out of things for her to say. So the next logical step was an abduction and escape sequence in the middle of a thunderstorm. Now I have to figure out how to get out of that, which I figure will be close to enough words to get me close to the end and then I can just wrap it all up in a big messy bow. It'll be, it'll be something or other. I'm pretty proud of myself though because I've at least been consistent with getting words on paper every day about the same amount. Usually a little bit over than my target goal, so that's awesome. Put me a little bit ahead, just in case. I had one day where I was a little bit below my word goal for the day, so the extra words kind of cover that. Awkward moment of the week was actually last night. My kid sister, who's been learning to read, started reading my novel over my shoulder out loud to the room. So I guess... Yeah, that might impact things in the future. She said if I write any bad words, she will read them out loud to the whole room. So, you know, that's awesome. Shout out for another awesome writing book, which is written by Chris Beatty, who's the founder of NaNoWriMo, because NaNoWriMo is awesome. And you can't really see it because I have it on my Kindle, but it's No Plot, No Problem by Chris Beatty, which is an awesome and very humorous book to read, so, you know, if you want to write a novel, you should totally check it out. And Matt, who is behind the camera, for, you know, doing all my camera things, and shooting, and editing, and all the things, and you should follow his blog, and Twitter, and awesome stuff. Shout out to We Heart Nerds, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, all the things. Merlin says goodbye. <laughs>